on the front here is a nice set of PRP straps uh, and we had to make some custom spacers for this job. So this one's a little bit different compared to others. All right, we are at it again with Sean at German Shepherd Designs. Soon to be Hold Shepherd on. Designs, right? Shepherd Motorsports. Shepherd Motorsports, my yeah. bad. Yep. I can't even get it right. Um, he is doing the overtime here on a Saturday morning. German Shepherd Designs slash Shepherd Motorsports. Keep an eye out for the new logo, guys. And the phone number is 503-851-4756. Awesome. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you want to learn more about how to work on your machine or know who to talk to, Sean's your guy. And subscribe and learn some more. Hit that like button. Boom. Here we go. We're going to talk about limiting straps today, right? That's right. The importance of limiting straps, really. So you can see on this list of general we have here, uh, what we got on the front here is a nice set of PRP straps. Uh, and we had to make some custom spacers for this job. So this one's a little bit different compared to others. But the importance of this is what it does is it prevents the shock internals from being pulled out. So on this rig, the customer wanted front and rear to help everything and set it, keep it from full extension and pulling anything out of the shock or doing any damage on the internals. We got set up with a couple good companies. We've got PRP and shock therapy. Um, this one we're, we're redoing, you can see the custom powder coated springs right here on this for this new car um, and then we got his a set of shock therapy limit straps right here I like these a little bit more um, they're a little bit more money than the PRPs but they're a lot stronger so what they do is they clamp onto the top of the collar here and they have an extension that comes out to a bolt over here and the clevis so it's actually adjustable so it's really really nice that as those strips straps stretch you can actually adjust that back so you set it back about an inch from full extension and then as that strap stretches you can come back and tighten it up a little bit which is really really nice because I will be honest with you guys pulling this apart especially on velocity shocks and rebuilding internals is not fun for you or me or your wallet so save the internals save your shocks save the headache save the hassle and um definitely definitely go with the limiting straps roughly what is like a limiting strap set combo cost um anywhere on a rough number on a rough number anywhere from 180 dollars on up so for the whole set for the for the front set for the front yeah set. yeah and a lot of guys uh inc myself included only run front um i i recommend the front the most because that's where the majority of your tra travel is going to be going when you're going over the rain and going through washes and everything it's your front that usually drops all the way out while your rear usually maintains contact with the ground so that's what happens is this gets compressed you lose contact with the ground this fully extends like it is right now and what that does is that hits the stop that's inside here and then just the constant pounding inside creates damage or wear and worst case scenario potentially pulls everything out of this shock so we don't want to do that That's and i'd say for what we would say i mean if you're just babying your machine just driving it on the pavement most of its life probably not something that needed right probably not something that's needed or no. if you're keeping your wheel size the same size not really getting it a lot bigger that'll it'll be less needed unless you're going hard and jumping or sand dunes right correct. those would be kind of your correct bigger wheel combos it's like definitely need it right well bigger wheel combos yes definitely I'll always um because the bigger wheel is just more weight so that's just yeah. dropping that weight harder uh harder on your internals, on and, everything. internals and everything so and then sand dunes coming up over like a lip and Coming your to yep, full extent exactly. or you know you you uh, go through a witch's eye or anything like that where it just drops that's that's a full it's a full fast extension we do some high-speed runs out here in the chatter we're doing about 70 miles an hour um, 
through washes and, and through the desert even if it's chewed up. So there's a lot of noise um, coming through when, when I initially got our car that was coming through the front end and it cut about 80% of it out when we put the limiting straps on. So PRP is, is very nice. They do, a, like I said, they do a very simple um, bolt on through your bolts, solid strap, solid length. Um, the issue that I see with that is anybody that's taking their shocks above standard, like for your car, we're looking at swapping out the springs. So your spring lengths are gonna actually be a little bit different. Uh, it will change the height, the right height of your car. So if you ordered for stock, let's say PRP, they're not gonna fit quite right lengthwise compared to like if we went with the shock therapies which are adjustable. So a little bit more money, but a lot more detail. Um, the other thing too is with the spacers, like what you were talking about, what happens is, um, get something for an example here. So you have your bolts coming through here. What's happening is you're getting a lot of leverage you know, on this bolt right here, up and down, because you're, you're pulling on this. Every time that strap extends, it's hitting here, and same on the top end. So with the shock therapies, what they do, that clamp sits around here, and it changes the direction. So instead of here, you're moving everything down onto the body of the shock, and you're changing the direction. That clevis pin sits like this, so it's a straight pull and it uses the body of the shock. And it does not cause damage to the body of the shock, but the angle is a lot better, so you have a lot less wear. So you still maintain uh, the bottom mount point, which is at the angle, there's no way to avoid that. But by changing this, you just strengthen the whole setup. So the previous owner for our car didn't have limiting straps, but had all the shock work done. So I took them apart, I rebuilt them, Upon rebuilding them, what I noticed was the inter internals actually had impact points so you could see where the shock had impacted inside. Uh, they never pulled through, but we replaced the internals completely. I replaced the shaft on my own car. I replaced almost everything except for the actual body itself. So um, we put the limiting straps on, run it for two years now, pulled apart the internals just to, just to do O-rings and general maintenance and everything looked beautiful. Our shock therapy registered dealer, so I can get all this stuff for you. You don't have to worry about shipping or anything like that. Or getting the wrong sizes. Or getting the wrong sizes or anything. So uh, no, this is not the one for the shock that we just showed, but that's okay. So this is the part that goes on, the clevis that goes on the top of the shock body. And you can see it actually has four large bolts that go through and just sandwich that shock body. These are the clevises that come through here and this is the adjustable part. So these will stick up through here. You'll adjust to the size that you need. Then this will attach through here. And as shock therapy has nicely denoted, they go for the measurement already. So you get that and then you can fine tune it with these bolts right here. So the spacers, unlike the, the PRPs that we sh saw at the, the beginning of the video, uh, they're all flat like this, this piece right here, top and bottom. So the offset from this is dictated by this bracket. Shock Therapy did this awesome thing where they pre-bent this massive bracket here to pull it out and away from the shock. And then they've got their own little custom spacers here with the nice upgraded bolts. If there's any hesitation or any questions or anything like that, feel free to stop on by or just call me up and we can schedule you in for sure. Um, I've been doing suspension for almost 30 years now. So, not your first week. <laughs> not, not my first week. And, and yes, that is long before the side-by-sides came out of the market. So I started off with dirt bikes and quads. And uh, obviously the natural progression is into the side-by-sides because that's what's dominating the market right now. So, Awesome. Hit Sean up.